I got some of these. I can't go home without a Method Men's body wash. It's been having the girls in the chokehold. It's cause don't nobody want that down there. Like that's just nasty. And locks. <laughs> hey sis, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, I am Grace. And today we are going hygiene shopping. It is the beginning of the month. And the first of the month I like to restock all my hygiene items so today i don't necessarily need everything i have some stuff that's left over from last month like toner and things so i'm only restocking the things that i need i'm not spending coins on items that i already have or things that i can use from last month so i'm just pulling up the list on my phone we're gonna be buying some oral care items body care feminine care and then also some skin care and hair care now we are going to two stores we're going to target and then we're also going to ulta um there is a new cleanser that i want to try and i'm all out of my verse cleanser this cleanser that i want to try i believe is called or the brand is called Youth to the People. I've been seeing it all over TikTok. So I'm like, let me give it a try. Hopefully it suds up because y'all know if it does not suds up, that's going to be a deal breaker for me. And I'm going to bring it back to the store. Right now, my favorite cleanser is still the Fenty Total Cleanser. The uh, Verse Cleanser was cool. It does get foamy, but it just doesn't feel like how the Fenty makes it feel after I use that cleanser. So we're going to try you to the people and see how it lines up across those three. And then also we're going to get some other products as I mentioned. Now before we get too far into the video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Like this video. Make sure you drop a comment down below and let me know what is your current three favorite hygiene items that you currently use because I'm open to trying other items. And then also subscribe to the channel. If you are not subscribed, we are on the road to 1K. Everything that I just told you to do is considered to be engaging and when you engage with the video it lets YouTube know it's good content so they push it out to other people uh, right now I'm sitting outside of Target and Ulta I don't know if y'all can see both of them but Ulta is right here and then Target is right there so it's not like I have to go out of my way to get to these two stores so let's go ahead and go into Target we're starting off our trip to Target with a water. I've already had my Starbucks for the morning. Like when I first took the kids to school, I had got me a coffee. So I'm just like, let me drink a water. I need to drink more water anyway. But you know, you can't come into Target and not stop to Starbucks. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is start off with oral care. We're starting off with toothpaste. I'm getting Paradontex gum repair. And this is a re-up. Recently, I've been having issues with my gum bleeding and sensitivity. Since I started using this, it's all been gone. And that's the issue that started since I got uh, zirconium crowns. So this is my uh, choice for toothpaste. If you have any gum issues or any kind of sensitivity, I recommend using this. It does also help with gingivitis and things. Toothbrush, I just got a medium bristle toothbrush nothing special it's like 99 cent my main thing is that it's medium not too hard not too soft and then i got some of these and these are just like flossers and it's for tight teeth same thing because i got veneer crowns it's hard to get in between and sometimes that causes the gum issues so this is the brand For razors, I like men razors because they tend to get a lot closer to the skin. And these are the Gillette Sensor Tubes. For body wash, I'm gonna get two, but I always like to get a men's body wash because I have a house full of boys and my husband, of course. And then I like male scents. Usually I get this one, but this month we're gonna try this one because it smells really good as well. And this is called Glacier Granite. Like, I can't go home without a Method Men's Body Wash. They love this and I also love it as well. It leaves you feeling really clean without leaving, without feeling slip, slippery. And then it has like a really, really good suds bubble effect as well. 
So for deodorant, this month we're going to be trying Loom. One of our subby sisters left a comment down below and she recommended Loom and it's a whole body deodorant. So if you have any issues with the uh, creases and crevices, this is good for it. Now, this one smells the best out of all the options. These other ones stink to me. And I'm loving the fact that it's on sale. So, it is aluminum free. It's a clean deodorant. And you can use it in other places besides your armpit. So, let's see how this goes. Because I've heard mixed reviews. But I'm going to try it, y'all. So, I'm in a chokehold. I want to try this. Especially since it smells like vanilla. And the body wash I just picked up smells like vanilla. But then I've been seeing this and it's been having the girls in the chokehold. So this is for bikini areas specifically that's listed. Let's see. So this is the body wash I opted to go with. It's Love, Beauty, and Plant White Peach. And I picked it because of the aloe vera specifically. But it also smells so good. So fresh, so fruity. It does not have sulfates. And it is cruelty free. So those are our pluses. But I picked it because of the smell. And then also the fact that it has aloe vera. What I didn't like was every other scent that was on the shelf. In the same brand was like five dollars cheap i believe it was i don't know why this specific scent was higher but it smelled so good um as far as shaving cream we ended up getting cremo i got the body wash of this but i have the sage smell and it smells so good the reason i picked this one is because it says concentrated and then it specifically says it fights nicks irritation and razor burns and bumps so that's all plus because don't nobody want that down there like that's just nasty and then also i can smell the smell through the seal packaging and it smells really good this flavor is pink jasmine now i'm at a cross field is it a cross field chokehold i don't know but i don't know whether i want to do this deodorant or the loom so we just talked about loom all the benefits it was recommended but the green just came out with a new spray and I really like the Dove spray that I tried last month. And I really like the Gris Clinical. And this is like the spray version of it. Now, this one doesn't say aluminum. Yeah, this got aluminum in it. So, should I make the clean decision? I think I'm going to be dirty, y'all. I think I'm going to be dirty. We're going to try Loom next month. We're going to try Loom next month. I'm going with the Gris. Okay, so I think this is it for this particular section. Um, from here, I still do need some body care, but it's in a different aisle. We need some oil. Also, I want to get one of the exfoliate and nets because right now I have the glove and I would prefer to use a net. And then we need some feminine care stuff. So let's head over to that section of Target. Now, some of y'all may say I'm juvenile. But me personally, I am not a tampon girl. I like pads. Usually I use Always or Honey Pot, but I've been seeing this and I've been wanting to try it. This brand is called Cora and it is organic cotton. Now this is the only one that I see and this particular one is Overnight Wings. So it is on the thicker side, but that's not a bad thing. At least we get the extra coverage. So. All feminine products nowadays should be cotton, if not anything, but organic cotton. Usually I like the honey pot because it has the mint smell to it or the mint feel to it. And that can be really soothing, but I'm stepping out my comfort zone. And we're going to try some of the Cora products. They do make tampons as well if you're a tampon girl. So apparently they do have other thickness but they're sold out. Oh, they also have leak-proof underwear. Have y'all tried that? I've never tried that. That don't sit right with me. <laughs> but this is what we're using. So we're in the hair section. The product that I'm looking for, they say it's sold out. And it's uh, aloe vera leave-in conditioner with cucumber. Now, after doing recent research and what's been coming across my timeline, they're like, you need to condition your hair more and 
oil it less because oil is a sealant. So if it's not conditioned and moisturized under the oil, you basically sealing and drying it, basically. So I said basically a lot. I'm trying to step away from oils and focus on leave-in conditioners. I'm gonna see what they got, but I really want something with aloe to put in my ear. This is the product of choice. So this is the Cantu Protective Styles by Angela. Not sure which Angela, but this one has Mario oil and aloe vera in it. So this is like a one-stop shop. I wouldn't have to oil my hair after conditioning it. One and done. And it's made for wigs, braids, and locks. <laughs> so we done here at Target. Let's head over to Alta. I don't stay by one of the Targets that has the Alta in it. I don't have that luxury, so we gotta check out and then walk our happy asses over to Alta. So let's do that. Baby, it is hot out here today. It's like 76 degrees. So after I turned off the camera in Target, I did pick up a few more items that I'm gonna show you. But let me just say, I just noticed this. I appreciate Target for not having loud background music and not saying anything about me recording because you're going some places specifically Publix. Like that's the biggest incident that I had with recording out in public and they're like, you can't record in here. But mostly everywhere you go, you just gotta record and do like music over a B-roll or a voiceover. But Target understands the assignment. Music just right, nobody ain't bother me. Even though I was a little bit nervous because this is the first time I've done a video like this where it's majority in the store and I'm talking. But um, once I turned off the camera, I did get a few more items. I picked up this, which I told y'all about. It's a bath cloth, but it's from Eco Tool. I be seeing the girls use the African rags and this is kind of similar to that. So we're gonna try this out because usually I use an exfoliating glove, but this time we're gonna try out a rag. Um, the two other things that I ended up picking up was this bar of soap. I don't know, for me, I always need a bar of soap in the shower for me. I love the peppermint feel. I've used this before and I enjoyed it, so I'm like, let's just bring it back to Dr. Bronner's. And I like the soap better than the bottle. A lot of, a lot of people are vice versa. So this is my bar of soap for the month. Now, I use this, I'll use the bar of soap. The, other people in the house they use the soap that I bought for them I can use their stuff but they can't use mine I always like to tell them what's mine is mine and what's yours is mine <laughs> so the last thing I got was this cleanser I know I talked about the youth for the people but I looked at the price of that and it was $40 I'm not spending $40 to test anything out I'm sorry maybe if somebody buy it for me I'll try it out but this is what I chose to try out I love elf products elf products are like my day ones that's where i first started with skincare and makeup even though I only wear makeup like once a month now that's where it all started for me so i'm like let me try their cleanser and then it also has salic acid which helps with acne and i usually don't get acne my skin is pretty clear but when it's that time of month it's always like right here that want to break out so i'm trying to be proactive and we gonna test this out and it was under ten dollars so it was pretty affordable that is it i showed y'all everything that i purchased for this month as far as hygiene um hope you enjoyed the video if y'all want to see my shower routine because i've been thinking about recording one of those videos that i'm like would they want the content drop a comment and let me know me personally i like to believe i take very simple thorough baths so, or showers, I'm not one of the people with 72 items that I use in the shower. I like to keep it pretty simple. Um, yeah, so if you want to see that, like that's next level hygiene videos, let me know. Drop a comment. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Y'all could have been anywhere in the world, but y'all here with me. And for that, I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all on the next video.